this episode of Spirit Animals, the show where we drink spirits. You know what we do? We like to act like animals. Oh, really? There's a monster running around. Oh, where's my Scooby Snack, bitch? Velociraptors and Scooby Snack. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ryan. I'm a guy. I'm that other guy. We're the Knights of the Brew Table. On this episode of Spirit Ales, we've been trying Smirnoff's Red, White, and Berry. Uh, and they, this uh, this Rocket Pop edition of Smirnoff is 60 proof, so it's only 30% uh, alcohol. It's going to be pretty light, I would say. Um, pretty light, pretty flavorful, I'm sure. But as always, we're going to try a straight shot. All right, let's give it a sniff. Let's see if we can get all those factors in a bomb pop right here. Oh my god, it does smell like... Oh, oh god! Yeah, it so smells amazing. like a melted bomb pop. It that smells like... Smells Great. The stick after you're done with the bomb pop, you're like, oh, I miss you, baby. He's got that delicious stain on there. Mm. <laughs> cheers. Air cheers. Mm, I wouldn't say it tastes like a bomb pop, but I taste a lot of cherry in there. I taste more of the blue raspberry. Maybe they figured out the secret. Maybe they have a nice little balance in there. Oh, that is that is really good. Um, but man, that is very smooth for a for even a 30% alcohol vodka. Mm -hmm. Still nice. Very good. So what do you think? One to five. If it wasn't for the low percentage, I'd say it's a great vodka, but I still gotta give it a fucking five! Because it is good. This is a real smooth vodka. It's probably... Yeah, it's probably the best flavored vodka I've had in a real long time. You don't really get any of that normal vodka flavor. You get a little bit of the vodka bite, but not that bad. But the flavors they used in there really set it off. It's really good. I think I'm gonna go with a four. It's really good. There's a lot of... a lot of shit going on in that flavor. Very little vodka flavor, but I do got to at that point for it being very low proof, so it's kind of gets off a little bit easy. See, I think that's actually a perfect point that Ross brought up in the in the proof. Um, see, okay, so we, a little while back we tried the Amsterdam apple, and that was a apple flavored vodka that I really enjoyed. I gave it five out of five, that's I good. believe. Um, right. And I say this is, I'd say right about there, right about there in caliber of quality, very smooth, enjoyable to drink on on all spectrums, but it's 60 proof. I'm gonna have to give it a four as well. Not quite a perfect five. I mean, generally most flavored vodkas you're gonna get are 70 proof. And to find one that's 60 proof is a little disappointing, but you gotta understand there are three flavors thrown in there. This is a four to five. Uh, you'll love this. Yeah, very good vodka. I can only imagine it'd be super complex in a mixed drink, so. Well, we got something in mind, so let's go and take our stuff aside and let's get our shit together. All right, we're back with all of our ingredients to make our mixed drink with the Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry. Um, we're going to be making the Sex in America, baby. We're going to do a full two-ounce shot of the Red, White, and Berry vodka. Okay? And then we're just going to go half and half with the OJ mm -hmm. and the Cranberry. And if it looks like mud, then you're on the right track, baby, because you just made the Sex in America. Because Sex in America is dirty. Damn, I like what you did there. That was good. Mm -hmm. So that, my ladies and gentlemen, is the Sex in America right there. All right, so we got all of our mixed drinks here made. We got the Sex in America made. Uh, it looks just like a Sex on the Beach, in my opinion. Uh, nice and cloudy. Uh, more towards the uh, orange side, I'd say. Oh. All right, guys, let's try this. Cheers. I, I can't click this. There's no I'm fucking I'm clicking way. this fucking. Don't be a bitch. Don't. Uh, <laughs> Yum. Hot dog. It's almost like the orange juice and, and cranberry juice kind of just eliminate the vodka. I don't taste yeah, anything. It tastes like OJ and cranberry, right? I don't even know how to describe that. They're, like I taste more than the orange juice, but there's just so many different flavors going on that just kind of blend into a solid mess. It's, it's kind of like a Welsh's fruit juice blend. Flavors upon flavors so that nothing really stands out. Everything just kind of blends together into one giant mix of awesomeness. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Spirit Animals, guys. My name is Ryan. I'm perplexed. I'm Saul. We're the Knights of the Brew Table. Woo! And you guys have a wonderful day! God bless America. America! Fuck yeah! Coming again to drink the motherfucking day away! Ah!